Good to go? All right. Hey, everybody. My name is Danielle Darby, and I'm a product manager on the video team at Adobe. And I'm super excited to be here at VidCon here with you guys. Um, we're sneaking a new app called codenamed Project Rush. You may have heard about it on the floor and other places. But I really wanted to just give you a little bit of background about why we've been working on this product, and then I'm going to give you a quick demo of the product itself. So I'll just get right into it. Um, over the past few years, we've been really um, reaching out to creators. We've been here at VidCon for the past few years as well. But talking to creators just like you and witnessing how you're changing the game for online video. You're posting content monthly, weekly, maybe even daily, sometimes even on the go in whatever spare time you have in your daily lives. You're engaging with the community on multiple channels, Instagram, YouTube, your own vlog, wherever it might be. And most of all, you're authentically you, telling your own individual unique story. And we at Adobe have been really inspired by the stories you have to tell and just what you're doing for video. So that's why while we're here at VidCon, we're sneaking a new app that we've been working on over the past few years, partnering with creators just like you, called Project Rush. And Rush is all about online content creation just for you guys. Rush is an all-in-one video creation app that takes the best of the industry standard tools that you may have known Adobe for, but it works on both your mobile devices and your computer. And everything is synced to the cloud, so wherever you go, all of your stuff is just with you. And some of you may be wondering about real editing on your phone. Rush is the same app on your computer and has all of the same features on your phone. So Rush takes the industry standard tools, Premiere Pro for editing, After Effects for motion graphics, audio from Audition, reimagines it into a lightweight, easy to use experience so that you can get your videos to your social media channels quickly. So um, to help me show you Rush today, um, I'm going to bring up one of my very favorite creators, and her name is Shameless Maya. You may have heard about her from her own YouTube channel, where she shares a variety of you know, tech, fashion, lifestyle videos, but really what's inspired me is her inspiration of her own Shameless transformation. So please help me welcome Shameless Maya. Is that a Is it on? Yeah. Can you guys hear me? Oh, there. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Welcome. <laughs> Woo! I'm super excited about this because as a creator who is always on the go, like being here at VidCon, I don't have access to my laptop, and sometimes I need to make last minute edits. So I'm really excited about this project that I can be able to be creative on the go. So. Yeah. And Maya, can you tell us a little bit about your inspiration for your channel? And Yeah, well, my channel started out as a social media experiment on what would happen if I was shameless for a year. And it was born out of my insecurity and fear of being an artist um, and just being behind the camera. And living in New York City, it's just like, girl, you better get it together. <laughs> so I was inspired to be shameless and just see what would happen if I took my skills as a photographer um, as well as an actor and remix it into the world of YouTube. So it's been six years, and <laughs> she's, she's shameless. <laughs> So we're going to use some of Maya's footage to actually show you the app today. So I'm going to switch over to Rush on my computer here. All right, so this is Rush launched on my computer. Um, these are all of the projects, whether I've started on my phone or on my computer. Everything is synced to the cloud so I can pick up whatever device I have in front of me and continue working. But today we're going to create a new project using some of Maya's footage that she shared with me. Um, Maya, tell us a little bit about this footage that we're going to edit in the product today. Yeah, so um, on my channel I do everything from inspiration to tech and beauty and this is a curly hair tutorial where I show, when it's not in braids, what my hair looks like and how I take care of it. So I'm going to add a few clips to my video here. And I love that when you're selecting it you can see it right there populating on the bottom. So what we're going to do with Maya's clips here, as I select media, as you can see, there's a preview of your storyline here as I select clips so that it gives me a little view of what my story is going to look like. But we're going to create a short teaser using some of Maya's footage. And this is from her curly hair tutorial. So we'll call this her curly hair teaser, if I can type. All right. And then we'll go ahead and create this video. So what Rush is doing is it's transitioning me to the editing experience, taking all the media that I just selected 
from the prior screen, and it's already laying it out into a video so that I've got something to work with. So I can play that back and we can see what we're working with here. What's up, beautiful people? It is your hunger, my shameless. I'm up in your building, and this video is all about the teeny weeny afro. I haven't done a curly hair tutorial for ever. All right, so we got a little preview of what we're gonna work, be working with today in Rush. First things first, we're gonna change this to a square video since we're gonna create a short teaser for social. And I think that in itself is already crazy <laughs> because I always edit horizontal. And for Instagram, sometimes I wanna put a post on my timeline, it has that option right there versus me going into like the sequence settings and like create a new sequence, what's the, what's the math? <laughs> Google, <laughs> but it does it for me right here. All right, and we're gonna push the soundtrack over. I wanna see Maya's face before I get into her little intro here, and then I'm gonna just chop this down a little bit. And then I'm seeing that this intro isn't working in the square frame, because it was built for landscape, but I'm gonna go ahead and just duplicate it so that I can keep the background there, but I'm gonna click on it and just scale it down to make sure it fits into the square frame. I know. <laughs> the fact that you can just drag and change over. the ratio. So now it's. What's up, beautiful people? It is your hunger, my shameless. I'm up in your building, and this video is. All right. <laughs> so I'm going to do a few more edits here in the timeline. Um, you can also expand your audio. Since Maya's talking in this video, I want to see as I'm editing to her audio. I know that in this clip, she's uh, going to do something that I want to edit out. It's not that bad. But. So I'm just going to take that little <sighs> out of there. The outtakes. What you see split before it. the chop down. And then I'm going to split it there, <laughs> delete it. As you can see, Rush's timeline helps me work efficiently. It moves everything down. I'm also going to take out a little bit of her intro, get this down closer to 30 seconds. And I like that it automatically pushes it down. Not bad. Because once you hear you, you like, delete, drag, <laughs> snap. Five hair products. All right, and then the last thing, we're just gonna cut off the rest of the audio because we don't need that. So turn it off, turn it off. 35 second uh, teaser here. Um, and then Afro. <laughs> she's gonna say something about her curly hair tutorial that she posted on to YouTube. So when she says that, I'm gonna add some text. Let me just gonna find Afro. that. Afro. <laughs> I haven't done a curly hair. So that's where she says, I haven't done a curly hair tutorial. So right there, I'm gonna add some text. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the title panel. So in Rush, all of the refinement tools are on this right bar here, and I can find titles here as well. So when I open up this title panel, I'll see a bunch of built-in templates that are built right into the product. These are all professionally designed and animated in Premiere Pro and After Effects. They're called motion graphics templates. I don't know, have, have to know anything about animation or keyframing. I can just pull some of these pre-built templates right into my project. And if I don't find one that I like, I can search for hundreds more in Adobe Stock. And a lot of them will be free. So. Which I like because as a, like I don't even know what to call myself, like a beginner editor, an editor who has skills, <laughs> but not too many skills. Um, this has the ability to use the motion graphic effects that you can use in After Effects. But I'm like, I don't want to learn it. I don't know how to learn it. So this is perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and just play that hair tutorial forever, and that's maybe because my hair hasn't been like naturally. So it's an animated title, but obviously it's not gonna work because it's covering Maya's face. So I'm just gonna pick it up and drag it down. <laughs> I can <laughs> scale it up a little bit, um, move it down a little bit more, and then I'm gonna change this text just by double clicking on it. Make this curly hair tutor tutorial, and you can change. The text color? Yeah, so you can also customize these as much as you want. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go into the edit panel here so I can customize the way the text looks. I can customize the way the colors look so I can change this to something like purple. But these are fully customizable templates so you can really make them your own. So I'm getting the signal over here that I need to wrap it up soon. But I'm going to go ahead and switch over to my phone. Um, this is the feature that I love the most, <laughs> being able to edit on your phone. So again, these are all of the same projects that I've got um, available on my phone or my computer. I can pick up right where I left off. So you can see that this is the same video that I'm editing What's right up now on my people? phone. It is your home my shameless. I'm up in your book. And I'm almost ready to share it, but I noticed that the music's just a little loud and I want to hear Maya's voice a little bit more clearly. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that soundtrack. 
open up the audio panel on the phone. All of the refinement tools are on this bottom bar. And I can just, with one click, auto-deck the music so I can hear Maya's voice clearly. And Rush automatically identifies all of the audio that you bring into the product. So any voice clips are automatically tagged as voice, music's tagged as music, so that it does the right thing when you click auto-deck just that one time. You can reduce the duck here. You can see that right in the timeline. And I'll play it back so you can see. I haven't done a curly hair tutorial forever, and that's mainly because... So now I can hear Maya a little bit better. So last thing, I'm ready to share this teaser out and get it out to my channels. I can share it to all of the places that matter for me and I want to get this teaser out. In Rush, we have a dedicated sharing experience so that you, know, you can share your videos out to your social media channels quickly. This is one thing that we've heard from online content creators is like, I've got to get these videos to all my places and it takes a long time to set them all up. So you can do things right in the app, like you know, just choose your thumbnail. Let's say I want to set that frame where I've got the title my fat finger over it. Um, but you can set your, your thumbnail here. You can add your title, your description, your tags. You can even sh change your privacy level and schedule your video right here within the app. And with one click, be able to render and share your videos to all those places. This is killer. I, I had a demo myself, and I'm going to get it. Yeah. Um, while, while I'm running around, how, can they, how and when can they get a hold of this? And raise your hand if you have a question. It's available to oh. sign up to be a yeah. beta test. So that's the last thing I'll say. And also, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I've got an Android device here running Rush as well. So Rush works on iOS, Mac, Windows, and Android. And we're opening up the beta. Again, we really are excited to open this beta up while we're here at VidCon. We want to build this product for you and with you. So we want to work with everybody here to build the product before we bring it out to the rest of the world. So this is the link to sign up for the beta. Please go there and sign up. We can't wait to hear what you think. And Get your feedback before it goes and it's out free. to everybody. It's free. <laughs> I, I have two quick questions. One, can you edit vertical video, like for the new Insta uh, Instagram TV? And can you create your keyframes and make animations the same way that you do with like Premiere? Yeah, so for your first question, yes, you can edit portrait um, videos. Same way I changed it to square, you can change it in that same menu to change to portrait. For keyframing, um, are you looking at keyframing for, for video? Yeah. Um, we don't have keyframing in the app yet, but that's something that you know, we'd love to hear your feedback on throughout the beta and see how you'd like that to, to work in Rush. W once you go from square, you can always go back to vertical. Yeah, back you can to switch landscape. it back to yeah. portrait, landscape, square. And the text also resizes as you're switching between each of the aspect ratios. So we have one over here. Are there any like built-in color grading tools or things to mess yes, with? Yes, I'm glad you asked, and I'll show that really quickly. Um, so in the refinement tools on the right, we have the same color grading technology that's in Premiere Pro. So very much like you know your Instagram filters, you can just click on a filter and apply it with one click. You can change the intensity, and if you want, you can have. Oh, oh, sorry. Let's see. I was demoing something that you weren't seeing. There we go. So same color grading technology in Premiere, filters here. And then if you want more control, you can go into the edit panel and adjust the individual sliders to have ultimate control. Um, if we want to go and do some more refined uh, works on the projects for features that are more available on Premiere Pro, like the keyframing, is the project <laughs> able to be imported into Premiere? Yes. So Rush works with Premiere Pro. So if you want to take your videos even further, or even for things like you know what Maya was saying, she can, wants to start on her phone and take it right into Premiere. Rush does work with Premiere, so you can open all of your Rush projects natively in Premiere Pro and have all of your edits just flow right in. Um, how could you find the app on like an iPhone? Yeah, so we're opening up the beta. When um, you get added to the beta, we'll add you through test flight, and then you can download it onto your phone. Hi, uh, great presentation, by the way. Does it work offline and then syncs once you are back on Wi-Fi? Yes, okay. couldn't have explained it better. Yes. Perfect, awesome, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> you can work locally, and then when you find a connection again, it'll sync all of your edits. I'm going to make my step goal today. You said it was free. Will it stay free once it comes out of beta? It'll be a free beta, but um, <laughs> that, that's all. No, so it'll be a free beta. We are expecting it to be a, a paid uh, app. Will you be, this is my question, will you be able to load in like LUTs? 
Yeah, so a, a lot of you asked me this on the we community floor as well, but being able to create your own color LUTs or color looks, um, you will be able to import those into oh, wow. Rush at a later time. So we have time for one or two more questions. Um, is there a way to uh, capture from uh, like a FaceTime or a Skype conversation to ingest a two-person dialogue? I don't know if I understood the question. Uh huh. So let's say I wanted to interview, or you wanted to interview me remotely uh -huh. using either FaceTime or Skype. It's a way to ingest directly from some capture uh, using the phone, uh, you know, telecom. If. So would you already be capturing it with another program? Or? No. Oh, okay. That's what I'm asking. Is it built Live in Live recording, here? like voiceover in the like, app? Like screen recording or in-app recording of another app? I see. We do have voiceover recording in the application, so you can record voiceover clips in the timeline. And we support three tracks of audio. I'm not sure if that answers your question. Um, while I'm taking this question, will you guys be here at the end of the session if there's more questions? Yeah, and we're right outside um, in yeah. the Adobe booth be hanging out there to help answer any questions or if you want a deeper demo we've got some demo stations set up other than the uh, mobile support where does this fit in in regards to premiere and after effects so we're leveraging a lot of the same technology as I mentioned premiere or rush works with premiere so you can take all of your rush projects directly into premiere and then the things that I showed you around motion graphics templates how I brought in the text um, if you're an After Effects artist or a Premiere Pro user and you're creating motion graphics templates, you can put those out on Adobe Stock and Rush users can use those um, in the product. Thank you very much. I'm sorry about the strict timing. I used to speak, so I know how that can be.